A documentary is not a document. It is not a contract. A documentary is an artistic creation that strives to present a compelling narrative that will inform, persuade, and inspire its audience. Welcome to the Georgia State University's Center for Excellence in Teaching and Learning Video Production Bootcamp Module. In this module, you will learn how to harness the power of video by creating short, compelling, and informative digital stories. Pre-production. The video creation process starts with pre-production. When making a movie, you don't just whip out a camera and start shooting. You've got to organize your thoughts and make a plan for what and how you want to shoot. In pre-production, you develop the blueprint for your video project. The pre-production process includes conceptualizing, scripting and storyboarding your video, as well as developing your production team and scheduling your project. In this video, we'll cover the basics of video pre-production. For a deeper dive on any of these topics, check out the online CETL Video Production Bootcamp module by clicking on the links throughout this video. Shoot what you know. To develop a compelling narrative, you must follow four important guidelines. One, keep it focused. You only have a few minutes to affect your audience. Attention spans are short nowadays. From Twitter to TikTok, we are only equipped to pay attention for the shortest amount of time. So, your story must be straightforward and simple. Keep it focused and make it interesting. Two, make the universal personal. Tell a personal, intimate story that explores larger universal conflicts and themes. Make a big idea intimate. For example, if you want to explore the effects of air pollution on a community, tell the story of one child whose asthma was made worse by breathing the air of an industrial park near his neighborhood. Or to celebrate the positive work that a nonprofit is doing, find someone whose life has been changed by that organization and tell that intimate story. Three, show, don't tell. Choose a story that can be shown, not told. Filmmaking is a visual art. The visual representation of your story is far more compelling and effective than if we only saw talking heads. Some great stories do not lend themselves to a visual form, and some stories will just be beyond your ability to capture. Find a story that you can show. Four, work within your constraints. Again, make sure that you will have access to all the necessary narrative elements to tell your story. If you can't get interviews with the important voices, it's probably not the right story for you to tell. Stretching resources to try and create something too large will leave you with a final product that feels rushed and incomplete. Consider time restraints of you and your crew, interview access and schedules, location and equipment. Your ability to successfully coordinate these necessary components will determine quality of your production. Scripting. Unlike a narrative script, the documentary script can shift and evolve as you move through production. A documentary script is the outline of a plan for the story you hope to tell. The creation of a film is a process of a limitless amount of choices. What do you want to say? Who is your audience? How will you tell your story? Your first choices are in defining your subject and finding the story you want to tell. As you begin to develop your project, think in terms of story elements. These are the ideas, interviews, characters, locations, plot points, events, and scenes that will be part of your film. Your story will need a beginning, middle, and end. An effective story must have a narrative arc. Study Vonnegut's The Shape of Stories graph here. The ways in which you and your characters deal with the story's conflicts will determine your narrative arc. Think about your favorite movie and the journey of the main characters. What are the major plot points of the story? What are the conflicts they run into? How are those conflicts experienced and resolved? What are your story's themes? A documentary script can either be written out as a treatment or an outline and then transferred into a two-column script. In a two-column script, the left column describes the visuals you plan to capture and the right column describes the audio you think will accompany those visuals. The scripting process will help you to organize the story elements you plan to capture during production. Storyboards. Once you've completed your script, the next step is to develop storyboards. Storyboards are the visual representations of what you plan to shoot. Additionally, storyboards help your crew understand your vision and plan. They help everyone to understand the goal of each shot to know where to place cameras, lights, and subjects when on set. You might be thinking, 
I have the drawing capabilities of a third grader. No worries. Stick figure drawings will go a long way in visualizing your story. The equipment, your tools. The GSU Cat Lab has high quality cameras, lighting, and audio equipment available for all GSU students to check out. Don't blow thousands of dollars buying your own equipment that will be antiquated before you graduate. You have some excellent free gear at your disposal. Data storage. When shooting a video, your digital storage, hard drive space, is usually the limiting factor in the quality of footage you will be able to capture. Before you begin, you must make a conservative estimate in the amount of data space you will need for all the media in your project. This includes the footage you will shoot, your interviews, B-roll, graphics, sound, and music, all of it. Then you'll need to double that because you've got to back it all up. You don't want to lose all your footage because you lost an SD card. Back up, back up, back up. If you don't have access to enough space to house all the data you'll need for your project and you're not able to purchase it, you'll have to decrease the resolution quality of footage you'll capture or cut back on the scope of the project. You'll definitely want to figure this all out before you begin production. Crew. In shooting a documentary, a crew can range from a large production team to just one person, shouldering all the responsibilities of every element of production. Filmmaking is a collaborative art. Each crew member is an important part of a team, working toward a single product. The responsibilities vary on each video project, but it is important to establish expectations with everyone on your crew before you begin. To learn more about the varied dynamics of crew relationships, take a look at the crew section of the video production bootcamp module. Okay, let's get technical. We're almost ready for production. Locations. Where are you going to shoot your video? You'll need to find a place with context and comfort in mind. What location best tells your story? You don't want to shoot your interviews in a nightclub if your story explores the history of basket weaving. You also don't want to film in a crowded park or a loud street and end up with terrible audio and distracting backgrounds. Think about a location that allows for a calm, thoughtful, and compelling conversation with your subject. Shooting interviews. The on-camera interviews are the spine of the narrative of most documentaries. The style and tone of the interviews you capture will dictate the mood, aesthetic, and message of your film. Therefore, it is critical when deciding on locations, developing your style, writing your interview questions, and preparing for their delivery, that you consider everything in relation to the tone that you want to produce and how that tone relates to your video's message. It is important to find an interview subject that can best speak to your topic, someone so comfortable with the topic that they will be able to give concise, compelling answers to questions that will bring your story to life and give it meaning. Researching your interviewee so that you know their background and their perspective or position on the topic before you arrive at the interview will help you to ask informed and interesting questions without insulting the interviewee. You'll be able to react to their answers in an informed way so that your interview becomes a conversation. Your questions should be open-ended, giving the subject room to express their thoughts on the topic. Make sure to cover the journalist's five W's, the who, what, when, where, why of your subject. As they answer these questions, follow up with reflections like, tell me more about that, and why did you make that decision? Giving them the opportunity to go in-depth with their answers will provide them with an opportunity to explain and you with more content to work with in the edit. Give them space to reflect after their answers. Never cut them off and resist the temptation to audibly reply to them with, yes, uh-huh, or oh. Those replies are impossible to edit out. Just quietly nod in affirmation. Pro tip, try rewording and repeating your most important questions later in the interview. You may be surprised at how different their answers are and you'll have two answers to choose from in your edit. There are many more helpful interviewing tips in the module here. Now you're ready. So that's the basics of pre-production. Pre-production is the most important phase of a video project because it's the time in which you conceptualize what you are doing. It's the time to plan and organize all that your project will be. For more in-depth information on the pre-production process, check out the online module. And remember, shoot what you know. Create a captivating and organized script. Visualize your ideas with a storyboard. 
and do all the work to ensure you'll be able to shoot compelling and informative interviews. And you'll be well on your way to a video that you and your crew will be very proud of.